And many of us can hardly imagine what went on there. Tonight we get an exclusive look inside that home where deputies say that young girl was left to starve in a makeshift cage filled with her own waste. Brian Gore's parents sold that mobile home in Gloucester. And only 10 on your side's Melanie Woodrow was allowed inside. Melanie, what was the most surprising thing you saw? Probably the stark contrast, Tom, between the room that police say that six-year-old girl was caged in and another child's room that was directly next door, a room that appeared to be filled with love. At one end of this mobile home, a room with freshly painted walls and monkeys, what appears to be a baby's room. She was extremely excited, um, knowing it was a little boy. Connie Owens Houston says she ran into a pregnant Shannon Gore. Talked to her for a few minutes, congratulated her. Owens Houston had no idea a few months later their lives would cross again. It was very hard. It's been completely shocking. Inside the same mobile home, police say Shannon and Brian Gore turned a crib into a cage. The prisoner, their six-year-old daughter. Waste still covers the walls and floor. Even the floorboards underneath the carpet are stained. The mobile home park hired Owens Houston to move the home. Soon after, she met Brian Gore's father. Being totally and completely in the dark of this whole situation, it was terrible to look in that man's eyes and see the hurt. Owens Houston says he had no idea he was a grandfather long before the birth of a grandson. No idea police would find a caged six-year-old girl inside his son's home. Or another child's remains buried underneath a shed outside. He was just, just totally blindsided by all this as the rest of the community. Owens Houston is hoping by removing the mobile home, the surrounding community can begin to heal. The community will pull together and justice will be served with this. Mm. And the new owner does know what happened inside and plans on renovating the mobile home. So what did the rest of that home look like to you? Yeah, it was relatively clean in stark contrast mm. to what we saw in what was that room that police say a six-year-old girl had been caged and starving. There was a master bedroom, a, a bathroom off of that master bedroom, another bathroom within the mobile home, but yeah. again, clean, um, relatively empty now, but a stark, stark contrast a to what we saw dichotomy. in that room. All right, thank you, Melanie Woodrow.